Blessings on blessings, greetings. This is your girl Tizzy Tokyo, and you are tuned in with a real raw exclusive. All right, so we're kicking off something new for you guys, and trust me when I say the amount of people that has been pushing me to do this. I'm letting you know right now, especially on this first episode. This is all for you guys. So bless up to all those who've been pushing me to show more content and pretty much break down what it is to be a, a creative living in Jamaica. So yes, again, this is your girl Tizzy Tokyo and Tokyo is actually an acronym that means to only know your own. I'm gonna repeat that again, to only know your own. So pretty much whatever passions, dreams you have for yourself, you just go for it no matter what, as long as they're good ones, of course. Um, so I'm a strong believer of doing what you love, having a job where it don't feel like a job, it just feel like you can just wake up every day, even if it's a challenge, even if you're just going through something, with work or with your clients, like it's still something that you love because when you love something, like you're willing to put up with a good amount of, you know. <laughs> so yeah, this acronym has pretty much been like a daily reminder for me as I continue to pursue my passions and my dreams. So, you know, as, cause I don't like saying black. So as a melanated woman, I'm, just come to a point in my life where I'm just like, I wanna be happy and I, if I'm making money, I wanna make sure I'm making money doing exactly what I love. So I go through the obstacles, I take the risk and I just give my all. <laughs> you know, like I give my all, I put my heart and soul into the work that I do, and I just really give thanks for all the opportunities that have been coming my way. Everything now. <laughs> but your angle now. <laughs> Everything angle. angle. From a different like angle. Rough cut. So like I said, I'm trying to kickstart something new. I figured February would be a great month for me to really challenge myself. It's also like the shortest month too, so I really can't complain that much. Um, but yeah, I told myself, let me challenge myself in dedication to Black History Month and also dedication to Reggae Month, seeing how I'm living here in Jamaica. Yes, I'm living here in Jamaica. So yeah, you heard correctly. I pretty much decided to move out here to Jamaica to fully pursue my passions and my dreams as a creative, doing photography and videography. And with this move, it really made me feel like this was also a way for me to continue to learn different techniques, continue to network and meet other wonderful creatives and to continue to work with these artists who serve as a huge inspiration in my life. So yeah, I don't wanna to get too much in detail on my reasons on why I moved to Jamaica and when I moved to Jamaica and the whole process of me moving to Jamaica because trust me when I say it was definitely a challenge. It was a huge challenge, probably one of the biggest challenges I've ever faced moving from America to an island and there were definitely a lot of adjustments that I had to face and that I'm still facing. But if this is something that you're interested in hearing a lot more of in depth, just drop it down in the comments. Let me know if you wanna hear about my whole experience um, when I decided to move out to Jamaica. So I'm pretty sure you guys have been wondering, why Jamaica? Why you decide to move to Jamaica? Well, most of the work that I've been doing has been catered around the Jamaican culture working with reggae artists or working with dance hall artists. 
all in which I can elaborate a whole lot more in another video, but this is not the one. It makes two years in October, and I figured before I continue with this video, letting you guys know what I'm gonna be doing, what you guys can be looking forward to, I do a little bit of reflecting on some of the things that I have done since moving here to Jamaica. So before I continue, make sure you guys click that subscribe button right now. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more real, raw, exclusive content. a few of my highlights that I ended up doing since moving out here in Jamaica. I'm gonna to try to make them as quick as possible. All right, so quick and fast, I think one of the first ones that I can talk about that I was really, really excited for was Burner Boy. So Burner Boy ended up coming to Jamaica for the first time and I ended up being able to get a media pass media credentials and pretty much just be right there in that photo pit capturing all different types of content. And yo, Burner Boy, goodness gracious, man. I feel like he was like, he, he set the tone of like how performances, how live performances should be. And he's just an amazing artist. He's an amazing artist, he has amazing music. And yeah, I was able to capture him, did a little bit of video work, did a little bit of photo work, and that was one of my, that was one of, one of the coolest highlights that I had since moving out in Jamaica. All right, another highlight would be, and this came honestly very randomly, but I found out that Chris Brown was coming out in Jamaica and I told myself, I'm like, yo, I'm gonna get myself a photo pass and I'm gonna capture me some Chris Brown. And sure thing, I ended up, well, I actually ended up just getting a regular ticket but I just confidently walked with my camera all the way up to the media pit and they just allowed me in. So I just took advantage of that and I just captured as much content of Chris Brown. And again, that's another artist where like watching them live is like a whole nother level. <laughs> Sham and Bounty Killer. So in the beginning of 2023, like I said, like around February, I had an amazing opportunity to capture Baby Sham out in California. I was already out in California for that festival and I ended up contacting Baby Sham and his management team asking them if they need media content or media coverage for the festival that I was already gonna be at anyway. And lucky for me, they were interested. So I ended up working beside Baby Sham. That was my first time ever working directly with Baby Sham. I've captured him plenty of times before like on Jamrock Cruise, but other than that, this is my first time ever working with Baby Sham. So these are some of the content that I created for him while I was working with him out in Cali. This is a festival called Cali Vibe Festival, and it was definitely a vibe. The curve called Fiona, loops called Confusion, speed bumps called Friends, and red lights called Enemies, cash and signs called Family, and flat tires called Jobs. But if you have a spear called determination and an engine called perseverance right. with insurance called fate right. and the drive to make it, right. you'll reach a place called success. First time working with him. Later on in the years, um, I said in the years, later on in the year, I ended up getting a, another opportunity to do some behind the scenes for Baby Sham. So this was a music video where I did behind the scenes, photo and video work. Um, it had Baby Sham, Bounty Killer, and Dexter Dabs. 
for a song called Slow Motion. So that was another very, very fun set to be on. Whenever they see him, they go on extra. Yeah. yeah. And whenever they want me, they call me to sex her. It's all like After that, I ended up continuing to work with him, and he came back to Jamaica, and this time he was doing a project for an EP called Time Bomb. Now, Time Bomb was the highlight of my work with Sham in Jamaica. Um, so what happened? Um, Sham's management team contact me again. They asked me if I can be in charge of doing the album artwork, or more like the album, take, taking the pictures for the album artwork for the EP Time Bomb. So I was like, yo, I'm, f I'm fully on board with that. So we ended up curating the whole project. There was a whole setup that I had to create. So I ended up getting a set designer out here in Jamaica and both of us just put in the grunt work, paint it, um, construct it, and just turn the whole entire location into what Baby Sham and his team was envisioning. We took the pictures. There was also a music video shoot that happened the same day. And it was just a a wonderful vibe. See anybody with the camera shine pan? Movements, action, vibe. We don't want a body, a itch up around here, so in front of the camera, and I hang out, go hang away. Anybody with the camera a shine pan? Who do better shine? Bumba clap, I wanna ramp. Don't burn up, bad man, bumba clap. Make sure you guys check out this EP because this EP is no joke. Big, big shout outs to Madhouse Records, Dave Kelly, blessings on blessings to Miss Monique. So after the EP cover was done, after we shot the title track, Time Bomb, out in Jamaica, things just kept going things just kept getting better and better and better. I ended up getting um, contacted by Sham's management team again, and this time they asked me if I wanted to go on tour with Sham. This was more like a radio press tour, but either way, a tour is a tour to me. But either way, yeah. They asked me if I wanted to go on tour with them out in London to pretty much provide content, photo and video content for their, yeah, it was just a radio run. It was a radio run. They were promoting the Time Bomb EP and they wanted to, you know, get back to the fundamentals and, you know, hit radio stations, chat with DJs and everything. And they wanted all of that captured. So here's some of the photos that I was able to capture. This was Bounty's first time traveling back to UK after like a good amount of years. But it was a good amount of years where he wasn't able to travel to the UK. So he recently got his visa to travel and this was one of his first trips. So it was a very memorable moment for everyone, I think. And yeah, that was definitely the highlight of my 2023. So. At the end of every year, I always end it with a bang with one of the best events ever on this earth, which is the Welcome to Jamrock Reggae Cruise. So I have been, I have been on this ship for like the past, I say like four or five years now. I have been one of their house photographers and it has just been amazing. Like. I recommend anyone who loves reggae and dance hall, make sure you book and get on this ship. Like this is something that's like, I, I can't even explain what goes on on a ship. Just know that it's well worth it and you guys are in for a treat because there's just so much going on and it's just, it's festive. It's festive, nothing but reggae, nothing but love, reggae, dance hall. Those are pretty much like my highlights for 2023.
Choices. We all make choices in our lives. Some good and some bad. At the end of the day, they're all choices. Don't define you. Can you learn from your experience? And with all these experiences, you don't grow. Now your duty is not to repeat them. Don't replicate them. Let's go. Don't know about for greatness. Um, also, I did a lot of work with Buju Bantan. So these were a few of the work that I did with Buju Bantan. Um, yeah, man, like, it's, it's just, I don't even know how to describe it sometimes, but like to be able to work with the artist that you grew up listening to. Like I remember when I was a little girl and I would see some of these reggae artists, cause I used to love watching music videos. Always kept MTV, BET, one of them channels on in my house. And I would just always be fascinated. Like especially when Ghetto Story came out with Baby Sham, like, yo, <laughs> and I'm working with Baby Sham. I'm working with Buju Bantan. I'm working with Bounty Killer. You know, like, these are all things that I really can't take for advantage. I gotta really be thankful for. So yeah, I don't wanna make this video too, too long. I just wanted to make sure I quickly introduce myself and I let you guys know what I'm gonna be kickstarting definitely for the month of February. So like I said, this is gonna be a challenge for me, so bear with me. Um, and I'm just gonna try my best to make sure I can show you guys and give you a little more exclusive insight on how it is being an American moving to Jamaica, one, and also just being a creative working out here in Jamaica, in the music scene at that. So yeah, just stay tuned. I'm giving you that real raw exclusive. Make sure you hit that subscribe button.